This is Massimo Borrelli from Hereford University. And today I will talk about a paper that I recently published in Physical Review 8. Here is the reference. The title of this paper is A Simple Trap Iron Architecture for High Fidelity Toffoli Gates. And this work has been done in collaboration with Laura Mazzola, Mauro Paternoster from Queen's uh, University in Belfast, and Sabrina, uh, Sabrina Manistaco, my supervisor here at Harriet Watt. Okay, the goal of this paper is to implement a Toffoli gate for three ions in a, a linear magnetic trap using first order interactions, standard interactions in this kind of experimental context, and uh, the minimum number of steps possible. This actually results in, the second requirement in particular, results in using multi-qubit gates uh, rather than the usual single qubit and two qubit decomposition in quantum computation. Let's have a look to the setup. We have three ions placed in a linear magnetic uh, trap and we are using the uh, common vibrational degree of freedom to somehow transport the quantum information from one qubit from one ion to the next. Uh, we will refer to this extra degrees of degree of freedom as the COM and silver. In the second part of this work, we consider how uh, some of the most severe imperfections, uh, not technical imperfections, but imperfections um, in this kind of experimental setup might affect uh, the goodness of such a, uh, such a proposal. Uh, the kind of imperfections that we have considered in this work are heating, dephasing, a non-perfect match of the rubric frequencies, and uh, a non-perfect state preparation for the COM mode at the beginning of the whole protocol. We have run several simulations, changing a little bit the parameters, but not too much, because we always refer to a real experimental parameters taken from real experimental setups and what we have found is that overall the system is quite robust against heating and phasing as well as a non-perfect uh, initialization of the COM state. Uh, for what it concerns actually the laser fluctuations which is somehow, um, let's say this, this imperfection is somehow encoded in a non-perfect mismatch, in a non-perfect match of the rubbing frequencies we have found that the system might be in principle quite sensitive, but as long as we are in a range of parameters for these fluctuations, which is in this case up to 4%, uh, let's say 4% would be probably a quite bad experimental setup, so let's say we're still in a safe area, uh, the average gate fidelity is still uh, bigger than 80%. So, the conclusion about this work is that we have realized um, a TOEFL, we have proposed a scheme to implement a TOEFL gate which requires uh, 44, if I remember correctly, percent of the operations needed in the, uh, the most recent experimental implementation of the same gate in the same kind of experimental setup. The system uh, turns out to be very robust against heating and dephasing, and it's still quite robust against state preparation, error, and um, laser fluctuation.